Hello, welcome back to Oracle PLSQL tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about exception type. As we uh, know that uh, there are two types of exception, one is implicit, another is explicit. And in implicit, we have a predefined Oracle server error. Okay, so let's discuss this type of exception in this video. Okay, so let's take a look like you know how this uh, oracle PL SQL uh, program works say I have a declare as so where I can declare some variable and then I have begin and then say let's say this is my end and inside this begin I will write a lot of PL SQL, SQL statement or PL SQL statement let's say I have statement s1 s2 s3 s4 and so on then what I do, uh, I learned from my previous video that if there is some error, as a runtime error occur, then I can handle those things gracefully by another block called exception. So I'll write a keyword called exception, and inside that exception, I'll write the handlers. Say when, say my handlers, you know, when when something, then. I'll write some statement, error statement, S1, S2, this thing, and when another, when something else happens, then some other statements. Uh, let's make this end looked up below. So this is how a PLSQL blocks look like. Okay, so that means when we are running this thing fine. So like you know, if S1, S2, S3, S4 just run without any Oracle error then this basically you know whatever from begin to exception whatever whatever statements statements are there those things going to be executed properly and then the control is going to come to the end but assume that something really gone wrong when it is trying to execute s2 note that this is not a compile time error like i expect something but something else you know based on some data and all those things it might happen that this S2 may not behave what is supposed to, how it's supposed to be okay so let's say like while executing S2 I got an Oracle error let's say that error is 1000 okay so this is the error code that I got while executing S2 then what happens that Oracle by default map this error code to a exception handler okay let's say that exception handler name is ABC okay so all these things are done by Oracle you don't have to worry about anything so what Oracle does Oracle whatever the frequently error that you can get during runtime they have there are maybe 25 plus frequently errors you know frequent errors are been considered and then defined as an exception handler for those things for example here are something that I have taken from the uh, Oracle server documentation guide whenever there is an error code called 1422 that exception name is two underscore many underscore rows so what does it mean this is how you're going to read whenever you are going to get like you know whenever you are executing this statement if this statement is going to give you a error that error code is 1422 just let me just write it properly so if while running this statement 2 if I get an Oracle error 1422 then what's going to happen it will automatically raise automatically raise an exception called two underscore many underscore rows okay so let's understand what does it mean that means the control is going to go to the exception block and try to scan the exception block from 
bottom from top to bottom try to find out if there is a handler name two underscore two underscore many underscore rows if there is a handler called two underscore many underscore rows then it will go to that block and try to execute whatever the st error statements that we have there understood so this is what is a implicit this is how one implicit predefined oracle server ex exception work okay so so this is how a predefined oracle exception work let's take some more example to clarify this thing from a programming context here is an example I declare norm1 as a number norm2 as a number and I open I declare a cursor c1 in line number 6 in line number 6 what I am trying to do I am trying to assign a value 100,000 to norm2 however whenever I declare norm2 I said that norm2 can take maximum to precision that means anything from 0 to 99 can be stored here so therefore whenever here you want try to give a number that is greater than 99 this is going to say that okay I cannot store here that means that's an error right so whenever this thing will happen Oracle server is going to give you an error code and what is that error code you can find it from here the error code will be something like 6502 okay so since the, since the error code is 6502 therefore it is going to come to this place and then 6502 also means 6502 also means a exception handler value underscore error that means the control is going to go to the exception jump to the exception block at line number 10 and trying to see if there is a exception handler called value underscore error so this is not value underscore error this is not value underscore error this is value underscore error so therefore the control is going to go and then execute this dbms underscore output put line okay so this is how this thing happened let's say i you know i change this program i make number num2 is equal to 10 so therefore line number 6 is working now but in line number 7 norm1 is a number but I am trying to assign a character to that okay again line number 7 is going to give an error and that error is again 6502 because I am not assigning the right value therefore again it is going to come when underscore value underscore error and then it is going to execute that one let's say I fix this one I give norm2 is equal to 10 so well all these things gone fine at line number 8 is going to give another type of error that means I have not opened the cursor but I'm trying to close the cursor okay that means cursor does not exist okay but how come you want to close it so this is going to give a new kind of error and that error if you see the table is something called invalid cursor that error code should be 1001 okay so when when this th when this thing happens then an error occur and then Oracle the control should look for a name called invalid underscore cursor okay and then okay, it got at line number 17 invalid cursor therefore it's going to come here execute this thing and get out of this end let's say I commented this out so that just want to get you know just so that this you know let's say I, I remove this thing from my program now this line works fine this line works fine let's go to line number 9 in line number 9 I am selecting employee number into norm1 so norm1 is one variable where I can just store one employee number but this you know this query is going to fetch me more than one employee number from EMP table assuming that I have you know 10 to 15 rows are there in my employee table okay so here in this case this is going to give you another type of error and that error is called two underscore many underscore rows that means you see like you now this thing will be raised when a select statement returns more than one row okay so since it's select statement is returning more than one row therefore two underscore many underscore rows is going to be 
uh, no exception is going to be raised that means the control will go from line number 9 to the exception block and try to find out an exception named to underscore many underscore rows if you look at that you do not find anything called two underscore many underscore rows here so here is the default rule if you do not find any two underscore many underscore rows but you find another exception called others then it will go there so basically others is a default block you can think about that that if nothing will happen then it will by default it's going to go to when others okay so so this is how it's going to go and then so let's say if I do not have when others if I remove this from my code then basically you know then you know whenever this step, this execution is going to return many rows then it is going to try to find out two underscore many underscore rows it will not find here not find here not find here not find here so that means this exception is unhandled so if this exception is not unhandled then whoever has called this program it is going to propagate to there and then finally it is going to be reported as an error so in this case I'm going to get an error this is you know this is an example of abrupt exit even though I have written the exception since I do not handle it properly therefore again this is equivalent to not writing any exception okay so this is what is all about your predefined Oracle server errors why it is predefined Oracle server errors because all these errors are defined by Oracle and then what you need to do you don't need to do anything except write appropriate handler so what you need to do you need to take a look at what are the predefined exceptions are there okay so if those predefined exceptions exceptions are there then you should you should basically just write an handler it should fine this is how you are going to uh, write the exception handler in the next video we are going to discuss about something more interesting